What happens when allegations of inappropriate behavior hit the world of Formula One? The world of high-speed racing has recently faced a curveball, not on the track, but off it. It all started with Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner, a figure who has been at the helm of the team since 2005. Allegations of inappropriate behavior towards a female colleague surfaced, casting a cloud over the Red Bull pit. The details of these allegations, however, remain shrouded in the veil of confidentiality. In response to these serious charges, Red Bull launched an internal investigation. For eight long weeks, the team delved into the matter, scrutinizing every aspect of the allegations. The investigation was deemed fair and impartial by Red Bull, a conclusion that perhaps brought some relief to the team, but also raised eyebrows among others in the racing community. Ford, Red Bull's engine partner, was one such party. They expressed frustration over the lack of clarity and resolution in the matter. Their concerns mirrored those of many in the Formula One fraternity who were closely watching the developments. The call for transparency was echoed by none other than Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and the FIA, the governing body of Formula One. They emphasized the importance of integrity and inclusivity in Formula One, a sport that thrives on the talent and commitment of individuals from all walks of life. Horner, in the midst of this whirlwind, held his ground. He denied the allegations, maintaining his innocence throughout the investigation, and at the end of those eight weeks, the verdict was in. Christian Horner was cleared of the allegations. He will continue in his role, steering the Red Bull team in the high-stakes world of Formula One, a world that demands as much grit off the track as it does on it.